What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Psychotic Kill channel. Today we have another 2K20 My Career Mode video for you. So guys, let's jump right back in where we left off. And today we're going to be speaking to the ex-women's NXT champion, Candice LeRae. I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured. But I won't make that mistake tonight. Hey, I can beat Willow can beat Candice LeRae injured or not. We've seen that at TakeOver. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye... What do you think is going to happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? You tell him, Willow. I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with the title back where it belongs. <laughs> Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah. I hear it now. Uh, let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm gonna wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? How can we make Kill look as stupid as possible? So you dream over and really stick it to him. Yeah, dream over boxing shorts. Thanks for your help with that. I'm gonna need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Eh, should be too hard. So we are, ladies and gentlemen, back on NXT, making his way to the ring. Psychotic Kill. Kill, of course, dressed up tonight with a dream over in a one-on-one -on -one match with Velveteen Dream. Kill, of course, trying to get in the Dream's head tonight. Dream absolutely livid right now. It's definitely working. Oh, and Kill flexing it. Oh, you work it, baby. Oh, Dream is so upset right now. He's going to talk some trash. Because like, oh yeah, this way. Come on now. Follow the true Dream. Oh, Kill is definitely going to milk this, isn't he? So yeah, I think Kill is just going to spend his whole time outside the ring. Just annoying Velveteen Dream here tonight. And to be honest, I don't blame him. I would do the same thing. Oh, but Dream looks like he's about a whooping on Kill right now. The referee trying to get involved immediately. Just like, oh, that's it. That bell rings. It's on, baby. That's what you get, Dream, for costing me that trophy. So here we go, guys. Psycho Kill versus Velveteen Dream. One on one in a finisher match. Psycho to Kill, of course, gotta get Dream's health down to yellow. That's our objective today. And here we go. Oh, my. <laughs> Hanging Velveteen Dream out to dry in this match. Straight away by Kill going for the quick kick to the cup. But Dream seen it coming. Velveteen Dream knows that Psycho to Kill so well. They've teamed together in the last couple of weeks. Competing in the Dusty Rhodes Classic. And tonight, it's all about humiliation for the other. Oh, but Dream with a nasty boot to the face. Psycho to Kill now trying to get out of the way quickly, but finds out a quick kick. Dream again, able to block it. Dream, the, oh, Bolt going for the super kick, but Psycho to Kill seen that one coming. Jumping Jawbreaker. Almost like a diamond cutter for Psychotic Kill, but now Dream, oh, on Dream Street right now. After that, step up in Zagori. And that's Psychotic Kill quickly hooking the arm. Nice little suplex there for Psychotic Kill. But now Dream again able to reverse it back and forth. These men go. Bella to Dream now stalking Kill from behind. Killer will have blocked the shot. Forearm to the face. Stiff kick to the gut now. Here comes Psychotic Kill once more again. Launching Dream over. Planting him. Who's going to gain the advantage? Who's got what's left in this match now? So I got to kill to the corner. Oh, here we go. Kill now. Oh, and no dream with a huge reversal. Launches. So I got to kill his face right into the top turnbuckle. And I dream going for the handcuffs yet again. We've seen this before, guys. At the Dusty Rose Classic Final NXT TakeOver New York. We've seen this exact situation. No disqualifications in this match. Anything goes. Dream. Hang going inside. Cut it. Kill again. Looking to whoop his booty one more time. And a dream. The assault. Trying to end psychotic Kill's career. Before it even gets started. But as I say guys. These two men signed up for this match. And a dream. On the outside. Looking for something to use. As a weapon perhaps. While psychotic Kill desperately trying to unhook the handcuffs. 
But Dream now found himself a steel chair. Oh no, so I gotta kill now realizing what's coming. Dream wants to destroy Psychotic Kill once and for all here tonight. Referee pleading with Dream, but Dream doesn't give a damn. Oh my, Psychotic Kill unleashes a hell of a shot right to the gut. And now turn about to become fair play. Straight to the spine with a steel chair. That's what you get, Velveteen Dream. Psychotic Kill now unleashing a brutal fury with that steel chair. It looks like Killers aren't done with it just yet. Oh, wait, what the hell is Kill thinking here? Oh, no, this is not good for Dream. Face planted on the steel chair. Where the hell is Psychotic Kill going now? Kill now the outside with some evil intentions in mind. Looking at the ring again for something else to use. And now Kill finding himself a second steel chair. Dream realizing what the hell his fate could have been there. Getting the hell out of dodge. But now Kill with a chair again. Just absolutely blitzing Velveteen Dream. Ramming the chair this time into his gut. Blasting again the chair over the top of the skull. Of Velveteen Dream and the chair collides. Dream now stomped to the gut and kill with evil, evil intentions. I'm going to ruin Dream here tonight. He wants... Dream wants to end Kill's career. Kill's going to end Dream right now. But wait, no, Dream. Deep arm drag to the round quickly. And now here comes Velveteen. Dream whips like a kill straight into the corner. Big kick to the gut. Stomping away on the chest. But Psycho Kill back to his feet again. Fires on a forearm of his own. Here comes Psycho Kill now. Huge suplex. Oh, but Dream once more playing a little bit of possum. Nailing the psychotic one right in the face. Now Dream with a steel chair. This is not a steel chair match. This is a finisher match. But no disqualifications nonetheless. Dream now swinging a miss with that chair. This time a kill now wrestling away from him. Hitting Dream in the face. Come out of... Oh, jumping neck breaker. Both men are tearing each other apart tonight. But kill again thinking about that steel chair. Crashing down the ribcage of Velveteen Dream. Dream Desmond trying to crawl away. <laughs> now they attack on the back of the knee. But is, of course, is Dream still able to compete? We're going to find out momentarily now as again the steel chair collides. Kill again attacking that back of Dream. But he's just relentless. What the hell is Kill thinking now? Attacking the knee again. And now Psycho to kill trying to end the career of Dream. Trying to end the career of Velveteen Dream. Stomping on that steel chair as it was trapped around the ankle. Such a disgusting display. Between both superstars doing anything they can to annihilate the other. And a forearm again to the face of Dream. Back and forth they go now, Dream. Sent for the ride. Kill the oh nearly decapitates the dream with a huge clothesline. Trying to take him out of the ring right now, though, it seems. Over the top now goes Velveteen Dream. Stiff right hand. But the psychotic one isn't done with him just yet. Kill now on the outside as well. Dragging Dream back to his feet. And now a right hand to Velveteen Dream, but Dream able to muster one back. Both men now brawling on the outside. Dream with a stiff forearm. Killed down now, staggered again by Dream. And now Velveteen Dream drills him into the barricade. But wait a minute now, Velveteen Dream has his back turned to kill for a moment. Oh, kill! Oh my! Just drilled him with that pack. But Dream looks like he's out. What the hell could be in that pack? That Oh my, there it is. Psychotic kill, bringing a brick to a no DQ match. Hey, anything's legal in this one, guys. That's why you don't mess with the psychotic one. Dream now whipped back inside the ring yet again. How much more does Dream have left? Kill trying to wake him up. He wants him to see what's going to happen here to him tonight. Just stomping the hell out of Velveteen Dream. The Dream could barely even move. Wakey, wakey, says psychotic kill. This is not your nightmare, son, but I'm about to make it into one. Open up a dream up and cut. Stagger is not gonna kill back as without Dream with life still left in him. Oh no, it's not going for a psychotic kill. And now his throat being pushed against the rope, the middle rope now. And now Dream with that steel chair again. 
It's about to get brutal for Kill here, but now Dream Wedge in the steel chair. In the ropes, but Killer will roll out of the way quickly. Swing and a miss at Dream. Kill now looking to use that chair as a weapon. Oh, Velveteen Dream just got rocked. Oh, wait, right now Kill got up to that middle rope. Dream gets out of the way, though. And now Dream from behind, raking the spine. Killer will avoid it. Here we go, window, here we go, second and kill. Oh my! Oh, now here we go to finish him off. Psychotic kill now. With the purple, oh no, went for the purple rainmaker. But Dream got out of the way to avoid his own finisher. But now Dream, Dream has him up. Oh, returning the favor drastically to Psychotic kill. Are we gonna see it? But no, kill will reverse it as well. Dream now down again. Oh, what a huge drop for Dream. And that's not gonna kill once more thinking about it. Let me go back to that metal roll. Who's gonna hit the other's finisher first? It's not gonna kill maybe a little bit too far out to reach Dream. Dream now, trying to crawl his way back. But it's not gonna kill, not gonna let that happen. Oh, what's he got in mind next? Stone right to the gut. The animosity again between these two superstars is unnatural. Ladies and gentlemen, now the elbow drops to the spine. But is that enough for Psychotic Kill? Here we go one more time with the Purple Rainmaker. Kill hits it. Kill's done it. Psychotic Kill has defeated Velveteen Dream with his own goddamn finisher. Such a huge night for Psychotic Kill. What a victory. The biggest in his NXT career so far. It certainly is Dream over. Oh, wait a minute. Velveteen Dream now back in the ring. With that pack. With the brick we've seen removed earlier on. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is Dream saying? I wouldn't trust him if I were you, Kill. It looks like Velveteen Dream may be res showing some respect. That's like got a kill here tonight. It's almost like he's putting a championship around his waist, but putting that pack around his waist. One that was loaded with a brick earlier on, used to knock Dream out. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, Psychotic Kill, you're a winner here tonight. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, up next, making her way to the ring. She is the NXT Women's Champion, Willow. Wolf! Ladies and gentlemen, of course, tonight is a rematch for the Women's NXT Championship against Candice LeRae. Well, of course, won the title in a triple threat match at NXT TakeOver New York. Well, has worked so hard throughout her career, ladies and gentlemen, to get where she's at today. Absolutely phenomenal wrestler. You know she's going to be in the WWE Hall of Fame someday, but... We are graced to see the early days of her non... Graced to see her amazing career just get started here tonight. And up next, ladies and gentlemen, her opponent making her way to the ring, Candice LeRae. And of course, again, ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's all about once again. The NXT Women's Championship. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, because this is going to be an Iron Woman match. 15 minutes on the clock. And now Candice already going up quickly, but Willow will to turn it around to a reverse free fall power bomb. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the only way to win an Iron Woman match is to score the most pinfalls or submissions compared to your opponent. 
I will go for the powerful power slam. Taking down Candice Lino. Will on the middle. Bro, going for a big shot to the back. But Larray able to duck out the way. Willow, nonetheless, though, back at her feet. And now Larray in trouble. Stiff right hand from the Wolf. The women's champion. Stand out very strong here tonight. Hammock shots right in the face. Now Larray belly trying to defend herself. But Willow Wolf absolutely on a tear here tonight. Height and size difference, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely going to play in this match. Of course, Willow a lot bigger, a lot stronger than Candice Larray. But Larray's such a wily superstar. She is, of course, very nimble, very athletic, very agile. And of course, she was champion for a reason. Now, Larray sent crash into the top. Was Willow Wolf right in pursuit. Oh, go for the close up. Larray gets out of the way. Candice now quickly whipping Willow to the opposite side of the ring. Here comes Candice Larray. Willow catches the boot. Swings a huge clothesline. Takes Larray down. Over just a minute has passed on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Willow Wolf stomping the boot right in the face. So much passion in this match, ladies and gentlemen. So both women want to be super women's uh, champion here in NXT. Want to prove that they are the best. And now Willow Wolf in control again. Larray on the outside. Willow, of course, bouncing off the ropes there. Larray will get out of the way quickly. But Willow leaves another side momentum and a shoulder tackle. Willow wants to prove not just to Larray. She wants to prove to Rhea Ripley she is not just some one-time pump chump. She is a Bonafide champion, and the only way to prove that is by winning an Iron Woman match. And Willow is not going to do just that. The chop now, Little Ray hammers her down off the ropes again, trying to make sure Larray's all right there. But Willow now quickly off the ropes again. He's not but truly oh, swinging a miss again. Larray able to use that agility to her advantage, getting out of the way. Now Willow catches the boot again, hammers Larray once more. Willow now on the middle rope, looking to go big. Oh, drops the elbow, Larray once more, getting out of the way. This young lady able to reverse everything Willow has almost when it comes to the high flying maneuvers. Or oh, taking a risk and Larray quickly into a snap suplex. Trying to wear the champion down for the moment. Neither woman able to score a single fall after two and a half minutes already in this match. And now Larray with a big Irish whip sends Willow for the right, but Willow all the catcher on the way back. Shoving Larray back for the moment. And now kick to the gut. Oh, here we go. Look at this, Willow! Oh my, plants in Larray's face, right in the canvas with that head scissors. And now going to the cover quickly, one, only a one count for the champion. Again, ladies and gentlemen, neither one else score a single fall. It's all about whoever scores the most falls wins. Pinfall submission doesn't matter which way you get it done. But now Willow has her up against the ropes. What the heck is this? Willow now using the ropes to her advantage. Wow, what a brutal Alabama slam style maneuver from the outside. But wasn't done with Larray just yet. Big head butt. <laughs> Larray could be seeing stars after that one. Willow now going for the forearm to the face, but no. Larray able to block it. Here comes Larray again. Oh, sidewalk slam. Brutal side slam from Larray here tonight. Candace now hitting the road. Springboard, huge moonsault. Larray into the cover. One, two. No, just a counter two for Candace Larray. Willow Wolf able to kick out at the last second. Larray now going for the bank, but Willow Belly even phased by the champion. And straight back to a feet out of the shoulder tackle. Hammers down Candice Larray. And Willow Wolf stomping the hell out of Candice. Still, Larray, of course, got a very close fall now, but Willow Wolf looking to get her first fall of the match. Huge suplex. But Willow is not yet. Turning Larray inside out with that clothesline into the cover. That's got to do it. One, two. Three. Willow Wolf officially scores the first point of the match. But now Willow corner. Bookend. Straight again, Willow Wolf. One, two, three. Willow is already up two points in this match, and we're not even five minutes into the damn thing. If this is a proof to the world that Willow is such a dominant champion, I don't know what will. Stiff kick to the gut now by Willow Wolf. Candace the Ray on wobbly legs, but Willow knows she can go the distance this time. A gut buster. Such a diverse move set for Willow Wolf tonight. She's bringing the fight to Candace the Ray, and this time scores with the elbow. How much more can Candace the Ray take? We're going to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Again, 10 minutes still remain in this match. Big boot right in the face by Willow Wolf. What a nasty reversal. And now here goes Willow again. Fires Candace over the top. 
We're now bringing Candace back inside. Willow now trying to hook that arm. Doesn't quite get it over though, but still the power of the wolf comes into play. The Midnight Wolf on patrol. The Night stalking Candace now with that boot. Candice Ray, of course, such a fiery champion back in the day tonight. Being put to the test by Willow Wolf, but now a boot of the face by Candice. Here comes Willow now. Launch to the corner by Candice LeRae. Now Candice in the corner. Willow could be in trouble now as Candice trying to pick up some steam, trying to place Willow on the top rope. But Candice, I don't think she's got much more left. That took a lot out of Candice for the moment. But Willow quickly sticks the boot in her face. Hoist her up with the power of the wolf yet again coming back. What's going to happen next when these two superstars will now launching Candice across the ring? Nine, sorry, eight and a half minutes, nearly on the clock. And this time it's going to be Willow Wolf. Going to place Candice around the top rope. Willow now. Moving the legs to the outside. Willow going to join Candice LeRae up on the middle rope now. Oh, here we go, Willow. Huge freefall Samoan drop from the middle rope. And now Willow thinking about going up top once more. The Wolf Ray and the fly tonight. Oh, the nobody home. Candice LeRae gets out of the way. And Willow now could be in trouble. Candice now quickly straight into the submission. Can Willow hang on? Of course, LeRae down by two. She needs to pick up two falls in the next eight minutes. If she wants to just compete and get a draw here tonight, but that won't win in the championship. LeRae needs to beat Willow in points. But Willow, of course, not going to let it happen. Huge power slam. This thing getting personal now. Of course, the clock's still ticking. LeRae sent crashing over the top. And a huge spear through the middle rope. But Willow wants to fly once more this time. Going all the way outside. A huge elbow drop. My, oh, my. That's going to do some damage as well to the champion. The referee now beginning his count out. This woman battle on the outside of the ring now. But Willow Wolf wants to destroy Candice Array. Face first goes the challenger. These two had words backstage before the match. Ladies and gentlemen, Candice Array believes she's going to be standing above Willow Wolf. Holding her championship. It doesn't look too good for Lorraine right, right now, I tell you. And Willow firing that far into the face. But no, with Candace, it just won't Candace up. Candace swinging that breaker. Willow, the champion, why is he rolled the hell out of the ring? Candace right now almost with a second wind. Chasing Willow outside. Oh, Candace just absolutely catching the champion off guard. Count of two against the referee now with Candace. Try to go after the armor. Willow Wolf now. What a monkey flip. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, Candice Ray can pick up a point if Willow Wolf is counted out. But is Candice willing to gain a point that way? But Willow fights back now quickly. Step up into Gory and Candice is down. Count of five right now for Willow Wolf and Candice Ray. But Willow, forearm to the face. Here we go. Here goes Willow Wolf on the outside. Big German suplex. You know what's coming next? Willow Wolf. Ripcord clothesline. And now the Wolf just going to leave Candace to the outside. Diversifying her pins and falls here tonight. Count of nine right now. Candace already looks like she's definitely out. Ten. That's it for Candace LeRae. Another point for Willow Wolf. Willow now screaming. Come on. Count of one though now. Give the referee. But Willow Wolf caught again. Book it. Just to increase her most dominant lead. One, two, but this time Candice LeRae kicking out at two. Doesn't want that score to get any higher. She's already got one hell of a mountain to climb. But Willow looking for it a second time. Back to back bookends. Write us a new story. One, two, three. Willow Wolf now up by four. But wait, no, Candace, Candace now hooks the head of the champion. Big Bulldog. Candace really trying to slow the momentum down of Willow Wolf. Going straight into the cover now. One, two. But no, Willow again. Keeping it till the two. Candace drop kick. Nobody home. Willow is exhausted. Candace is exhausted. But these two women just keep on going. Five minutes left on the clock. Willow Wolf now digging the boot once more into the face of Candice LeRae. She's up by four points. Candice still 
cannot get a single fall in this match. And the power of Willow Wolf! Turning Candice LeRae inside out, upside down. Being put through hell and right, but Willow nearly takes her head off the clothesline yet again. The champion thinking about going big or go home tonight. It's a long way out for Willow Wolf, but she's feeling it. The adrenaline pumping through and fades and launches the elbow. And now Willow this time trying to attack the knee. Picking apart Candice LeRae now piece by piece. Almost a message to every single challenger in the back that Willow is the champion and she is here to stay. Wait now Willow again this time once more looking to attack everybody part again this time to the face. Kick to the gut now Willow just trying to wear down that clock. Four minutes remain. Inside out power slam once more. Butter Wolf. Now Willow with a big, big boot. But now once more calling the right back to her feet. Willow is just absolutely destroying the X Women's Champion. And here we go again. Huge German suplex. You know what's coming. Here we go. Lariat. Turning Larray inside out yet again. Willow so, so dominant. But now Willow off launching Candice LeRae to the corner this time. Again, that diversified moose set of Willow Wolf coming into play tonight. Willow now. Snake eyes. Off the ropes. Referee's down, but Willow doesn't give a damn in the shoulder tackle. What more could Willow Wolf do to Candice LeRae that she hasn't done already? Just scoop slamming yet again. Willow is now just taunting Candice as she desperately tries to pull herself back. Lorraine looks like she's hurting, but this match ain't gonna end. Both women signed a contract to be in this thing. The way we cannot be held accountable for any injuries occurred. And Lorraine could definitely be injured, Willow! Oh my! Uranagi side slam by the champion. Look for a second time! Such brutality, Candice LeRae now gotta be injured at the hands of Willow Wolf. But the wolf just keeps on saying, come on. This is almost torture. And now Willow again, bookend to a clearly injured Candice LeRae. Willow Wolf, it's that insult to injury, two, three. It's now five to nothing on Candice LeRae. We know Willow Wolf, what she's capable of, but this, this has got to be too much. Referee's got to step in at some point, and this time the knee collides with the chest again. And the rake can have broken ribs. Surely her ribs are going to be cracked after this assault. But Willow now, we're going to power on a wolf. Deadlift power bomb into the cover, both arms cover by the legs. One, two, three. And Willow now makes it six. I think Willow's looking to break some sort of record here tonight. Uppercut staggers the ray back against the ropes. Big shot from the Wolf into the German suplex. You know what's coming after that? Release a hammer close line. That's right. I changed the name of the move multiple times. Well, now rolling to the outside. I don't know where the hell the champion thinks she's going. But Willow now grabbing some steel steps. This is not no disqualification, I do not believe. But the champion now grabbing the steel stairs. Shoving him inside the ring. And Candace now blitzed up against the barricade. Willow Wolf isn't done with her just yet. Hoist her up. Oh my, Candace's face just bouncing off the steel. Speaking of the steel again, Candace meets the ring post. Counter three for these two women. The steel steps looming inside the ring. Could Willow get herself disqualified? But of course, the match won't end if she does. Referee now trying to get the steel steps out of the ring. Willow doesn't give a damn though. Willow now again turns Candice LeRae inside out. I believe Willow's like, no, those steps are mine. Willow back again to the steel steps. Try to race back in before the time runs out. Willow now. The time run three seconds. They got Referee now trying to stop Willow from doing something crazy. But nonetheless, Willow Wolf gets the win. Willow Wolf, still NXT Champion. 
Candice LeRae almost got brutalized by the steel steps after the brutality she already went through at the hands of the women's NXT champion. Congratulations to Willow Wolf. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're going to end this one. What a chapter it's been. We've been through Velveteen Dream. Willow Wolf, of course, became the women's uh, NXT champion. It's been a crazy ride. But ladies and gentlemen, of course, if you enjoyed this series, make sure to, of course, hit that like button. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. It really helps me out and lets me know that I'm doing something good here and you guys are enjoying the series. But also, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to share it with your friends as well. But thanks so much for watching this far, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. But until next time, stay crazy. Stay psychotic and i'll see you all in the next one